most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement worth having. In order to do that, you have to teach your children to serve. Now, I don't mean serve in a subservient way in which they are become the slave of your household in which you're the master and you're forcing your children to do everything for you like laundry and cooking and cleaning and all these things. But all children must have chores. All children must learn to earn. All children should have some sort of allowance, even if it's just a sticker board, that allows them to earn something at the Dollar Tree store. You see, it doesn't really matter what the gift is or what the earning is to a child. What matters is that they did it. They were the good helper to mom. And were you preparing them for how to behave when you went to the restaurant? That we're going to sit down, we're not going to get up and run around and interfere with other people and expect them to think that aren't we cute and all this sort of stuff, which interrupts their supper and creates a solicitation to a total stranger, which is inappropriate today. People do have natural conversations, but any mature adult knows that you don't direct your conversation to a child beyond just a few words and you spend your time talking with the other adult. It's how we learn about new opportunities. It's how we learn about new technologies. It's how we learn about other restaurants that are yummy and places to go with our families. It's how we do things in the world is that we are natural networkers if we want to earn. It's an opportunity sometimes to exchange numbers. It's an opportunity sometimes to exchange cover numbers, which means that your private numbers are protected and safe. If you have a Google Voice, what used to be called Grand Central, which is a marvelous tool that we used to have a full access to. But the reality is, in life, we all have to have technology, we all have to have opportunity, and we all have to have these online social media profiles in order to get around and succeed in life. And there is some lawful risk to these companies that do this, because underneath the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, it says that we all have the right to freedom of assembly. Freedom of assembly does include being online and being social. So when they want to try to limit who we can talk to, it sort of impacts federal laws that says actually we have the right under telecommunications law to call anyone we like in order to not necessarily solicit but that's what we do for a living so some of these laws are absolutely ridiculous it's true we are being bombarded in the late 80s early 90s with faxes we didn't need and it was consuming not only our electricity and our phone bills but it was also consuming a lot of paper when it would come in without our consent but in life we have to recognize that permission based everything is important but in order to provide for ourselves a living, we have to be willing to hear about new things, and we have to be willing to learn about mailbox money. We have to learn, be willing to learn about network marketing from good companies, and we have to learn that every day we do relationship marketing. We relate to other people, and we prove who we are every minute of the day. We literally sit there and present ourselves. The question is, how are we presenting ourselves? Are we presenting ourselves with our britches below our ass or our britches below our dick, and we just look like such a hick? Are we actually trying to put ourselves together, put a belt on, put the appropriate clothes on, and try to go out in the world and become a success? You see, if you're making a million dollars, you can dress any way you want to. But if you're not making that kind of a living, if you're living in some sort of poverty, then it's time to learn some new skills instead of just going, oh, well, this is my life. That's your choice. It's your right. It's called free will. But God may have a much more marvelous plan for you, so your best thing at hand is to get on your knees and to pray for you. To pray for God to open up new opportunities, to pray for God to give you opportunities to talk to someone that you sort of like to talk to and learn more about in a positive way, not in a selfish, I'm going to take something way. Because from every human being, you've got to take away, but usually it's God who says, listen to that right there. That is key. That is vital. Write that down in your private journal. Write that down in your notes on your computer, which I don't agree with because people hack computers every single day. Every single day I've got somebody moving shit around on my computer, playing with my files, deleting things that I've downloaded for my life and my job and my work, and I'm sitting there going, who are you to be such a jerk? Clearly you have no integrity for your life, and at no time will God promote you to anything right in life.